I think it's almost certain we're going to see a technical recession for the reasons you indicated. It's uh, almost certain the June quarter will go backwards. Uh, it's more of a certainty than the forecast for the March quarter, in fact. There was always a bit of debate about the March quarter. Um, and as we saw, the numbers were only down, on, down, but down only slightly compared to the big falls we've seen in many other countries around the world. But the June quarter um, did see that massive hit through the month of April as the shutdown really um, uh, bit into the economy. And our expectation has been for a 10% decline. It may not be as bad as that, but it may, may still be 8% or even 7%. But whatever way it is, I think it's almost certain we're going to see a June quarter decline, therefore a technical recession. Will it have an additional negative impact on confidence? I don't think so. By the time the June quarter figures come out, we'll be well into the uh, start of September, so another three months away before we get those numbers. And I think by then it'll be quite clear the economy is recovering again. So I don't see um, news that the economy has a technical recession in three months' time causing another hit to confidence. What would you advise people to do in terms of investing in the Australian market? Which asset class looks best positioned to you? Well, in terms of the, uh, the share market itself, I, I think the best approach here is to average into the markets. I think proving the market has proved incredibly difficult. Our timing the market has proved incredibly difficult over the last, uh, the last few months. Um, that rebound that occurred from late March surprised many people. Um, but the reality is the Australian share market is still almost 20% down from its high, which was in February. So there's still value to be found that if you look on a longer term basis, if you look at the PEs in the short term, they're very high. But take a longer term approach, I think there is good value to be found in the market. I would be focusing particularly on material stocks, probably also the energy stocks. Um, I think they have good re uh, potential ahead as the oil price recovers. Um, industrials. Um, some consume discretionary stocks. I'd have, you'd have to be a little bit careful there. You don't want to get into uh, those stocks that are going to take a long time to recover and may not recover at all, given the shift in retailing. But there is potential still in consumer discretionary stocks. And I'd probably I'd look at some of the banks as well, the financials that were very hard hit. On the flip side, though, I'd, I'd be avoiding defensive plays, uh, such as um, utilities. Um, some of the healthcare stocks have probably run a little bit too hard. But if I, if I was to go into the market now, I, I think the better approach is to average in rather than do it all at once because the market has run very hard over the last couple of weeks.